Russia and the U.S. agree to engage in dialogue to address issues of mutual concern. One America's Christian Rose has more. National Security Advisor John Bolton is in Moscow, moving the U.S.-Russian relations forward amidst what appears to be a bitter diplomatic standoff. Bolton has had meetings with top Russian officials, the media and Vladimir Putin himself, securing another summit with President Trump. I think on this latter point of the more complicated global uh, strategic environment, this is something that concerns the Russians uh, very substantially, and uh, we talked about that. Bolton has come to Moscow on the heels of President Trump's announced withdrawal from a key U.S.-Russian missile treaty known as the INF. Over the past few years, both the U.S. and Russia have exchanged accusations of mutual violations of the treaty. But speculation is growing that the Trump administration actually seeks to update the accord to include China, which has quietly produced and deployed hundreds of intermediate-range missiles while the U.S. and Russia were arguing. And the Russians appear to be open to talks. I'm sure that even small steps will benefit our relations and help restore trust. The world today is full of challenges and problems that should be addressed jointly. Bolton also warned the Kremlin against meddling with U.S. elections, saying a chain of suspected spy scandals and cyber alerts have fueled mutual mistrust and hostility. Russian officials reiterated the government itself hasn't been involved in the alleged meddling attempts, without elaborating whether non-state or rogue actors could be involved. Russian sources stressed Bolton and Putin agreed to abandon mutual accusations and cooperate on getting to the heart of the matter. So regardless of the difference in approach, we must and need to look for points of contact, it seems to me. Putin suggested good bilateral relations could benefit both nations, boosting joint space exploration, combating Islamic terror and upholding international security. For his part, President Trump said a summit with Putin could produce positive results. The whole nuclear situation uh, where we were not treated well for many years, this should have been done a long time ago, and I think something good could come out of that, and I very well meet with, uh, I think we probably will. Meantime, the next Trump-Putin summit is scheduled to take place in Paris on November the 11th, 2018, on the 100th anniversary of the end of the First World War, where the US and Russia were allies. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.